Hello everyone. I'm sure many of you already know this through my LinkedIn post. I do a lot of content on this channel. Some or the other way we are all connected. So I feel I should share the reason behind this decision. Of course, I'm emotional while sharing this. So I'll try to share as much as possible. It all started in 2014 when I started software engineering. In 11 years, I worked for various companies. It started with PCS, then I worked for Modlin, then I worked for FI. Then I stepped my journey into open source. Then I got an opportunity to work with Red Hat. And last four and a half years, I have been working with Red Hat. To be honest, last four and a half years, I have learned a lot of things. I thoroughly enjoyed contributing to open source and I thoroughly enjoyed leading a team. However, from the past three years, I have been doing multiple things. Apart from working at Red Hat, I'm contributing to open source. I'm doing freelancing. I'm posting content on this channel. I recently started posting content on Udemy and I'm also maintaining a Discord server. While I'm able to do this, I realized on the long run, I might not be able to do this because it's technically impossible. I'm stretching a lot. It's happening. But at some or the other point, I should stop doing all of these things and focus on very few things. So that's where I started. You know, this is not an overnight decision. I have been thinking about it from last six months, one year. And I was just trying to weigh the options. I'm just trying to understand which one I'm more passionate about. If I quit content creation, will I be happy? Or if I quit my job, will I be happy just doing freelancing and content creation? After a lot of time, I realized I will be happy if I do freelancing where I still continue my software engineering journey. Along with that, I also do content creation. While working for a company, of course, Red Hat is a great company. I never got any opposition or, you know, there was no issues for Red Hat, me doing content creation, me uploading courses on U Udemy or even writing blogs. Honestly, some of the videos I made are not even relevant to Red Hat or not even relevant to the speed in which Red Hat is. But still, there was no objection. So it's fortunate to be able to work with such company where there are no restrictions for the employees. However, if I quit Red Hat and you know, if I do freelancing, I'll still be able to continue software engineering. Apart from that, while working for a company, some or the other way you're tied to certain things. You have meetings which are at a particular time. And I was also leading a team, GitOps team. So there are certain meetings that I have to drive. So during that two hours, three hours, I should be only focused on that meetings. I cannot even do multitasking. So if I just stop doing that, I can spend my time or my day as per my wish, where, you know, I can do content creation anytime. Like right now I can just stop this and start doing content creation. And if I don't feel like doing that, I can just work on one of the freelancing tasks for my client. Now, on top of all of these things, some people who are part of our community already know this. I also have a lot of ideas. So I always feel between content creation and people who are learning, there is a lot of gap. Although there are very good content creators in India, across the world, but still the amount of content is not reaching the audience. So I just want to bridge this gap for that I have a lot of ideas. Of course, all of them are on the paper at this point. So it's not worth talking about these ideas. But whenever I get free time, I also want to work on those ideas. I want to shape those ideas and build a team, bring that to execution and release the product. Now, this is also going to take a lot of time. And this is going to take a lot of effort from me. Now, considering all this, I have to quit my job. Of course, you know, it was a very hard decision because at the time of leaving Red Hat, I was also very highly paid. Even if I leave, leave my uh, shares or options 
uh, RSUs, whatever you call it. I was still earning a lot. It was roughly uh, 70 lakhs per annum, which is very huge, right? For a person who doesn't lead a lavish life or someone who is, you know, who is very much uh, into a middle class mindset, the amount is too much. And to leave that, I had to go through a lot of things, right? So that was one of the major things, very honestly, uh, which took me a lot of time uh, to decide if I want to quit that. And if I quit this, will I be able to make even half of what I make working for Red Hat? Now, that is very tough. Uh, honestly, uh, I will have to see uh, if I'll be able to make half, if I'll be able to make equal to what I do at Red Hat, time will decide that, right? Because freelancing, content creation, this is not like your full-time job. This is not like every month, whether you work or not, you get paid certain amount. No, it's not like that, right? So I need to see how it goes. But right now I have taken this decision that I'll not work for someone else and I will work for myself. If, the, if this decision goes well, I'll be very happy. If this decision doesn't go well, I won't regret because this is my passion. At least I'm following my passion. And if something goes wrong, you know, I'll be happy that I have tried it, right? At least I've tried it and something went wrong. That's okay. Rather than not trying it at all. So yeah, this is something. Now, what is the future plan? So if you leave freelancing, the idea that I'm building, you know, those are something that doesn't mean a lot to the community or that doesn't mean a lot to you at this point of time because the product is in ideation stage. Freelancing is something that I do with my clients and customers. But what does it mean to the community is I'm going to upload more and more content. So you will see me more active because I have more time. And that doesn't mean I'll be posting any random things uh, on the channel. I'll make sure I post rich content. If it takes time, I'll take time and post rich content. But you will see more useful content from me on the YouTube channel. And whenever it is required, I'll also post things on Udemy or uh, Udemy. That's it. I don't want to build a website and you know sell expensive courses. That is not at all the idea that I have. Uh, because it completely goes against to the ideology of this channel. Uh, the reason for starting this channel is to put courses out free or at least make them affordable. So for that, I'll be uploading more and more content on YouTube or at times you might see me uploading content on Udemy according to the requirement or according to the content. So this is what uh, I wanted to share. So uh, at Time to time, I'll keep posting uh, on the YouTube community uh, and also I'll keep posting on LinkedIn about the progress that I'm making, what are the next steps that I'm going to take. So you will see more of that on LinkedIn and YouTube community. At this point of time, this is something that I have to share with all of you. I definitely value you all. That's why I wanted to share this entire thing. What is the reason behind and why I've taken this decision? I, I think I conveyed it well uh, because it's a very emotional uh, thing. So I'm trying my best to convey. I hope it is conveyed. On top of that, we have a Discord server. So where we are actively engaging. Right now we have a small team. I also have plans to build the team. So if any of you is interested in getting associated or joining our Discord server, you can click on the join button. You will see me uploading more membership videos also on the channel. Yeah, so that's all I have uh, for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can find the link to the Discord server in the description. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.